Welcome to Learn Logos mobile app flashcard video training. In this short tutorial, we'll show you how to get the most out of this brand new app. To download the flashcard program, go ahead and click on your App Store icon. To find the application in the App Store, search on the following phrase, flash space logos space Bible space software. You will then see flashcards for Greek and Hebrew application. Go ahead and click and download to install this application on your mobile device. Go ahead and click open to run the application. Now when you open the application for the first time, Logos will request that you enter in your Logos username and password. After you have entered your credentials, click the sign in button. This is the stack screen. Here you will see all the various flashcards that you have created. But since you're new to this program, the only thing you're going to see is the tutorial. To create a set of flashcards, we have to go back to the Logos Bible Software program. So let's do that. To create a set of flashcards, go to the main menu and click Documents. A menu will appear with a list of various documents you can create. Go to the end of the list and click Word List. Let's create a name for our group of flashcards. Go ahead and click on the pencil icon here and type Malachi and Jude. We are now ready to add vocabulary to our cards. Go ahead and click on the Add button at the top. There are several ways to add vocabulary to your cards. In the white box, you can simply add the Bible reference, and Logos will automatically bring in the Greek or Hebrew words and the associated English words. You can also add words from selected text, another word list, even the clipboard, and some highlighter styles. Let's go ahead and enter Malachi for the whole book of Malachi in the reference box. A menu will appear to confirm that you've entered the book of Malachi. Go ahead and click the menu choice Malachi to proceed. You can now see in your list every single word from the book of Malachi with not only the frequency of how many times it appears in the book of Malachi, but you get the front of the card with the Hebrew word and you get the English translation for the back of the card. Now let's go back and click add so we can create Greek flashcards as well. In the reference box, I have already typed in Jude. You do the same, and when the menu appears to confirm, go ahead and click the first menu choice, Jude. Your Greek flashcards have now been created. I'm going to scroll down so that you can see we can mix Greek and Hebrew, or for that matter, any other language in our flashcard program. As soon as you finish your Greek and Hebrew flashcards, Logos will begin to sync this information with the Logos Cloud. Once Logos and the mobile app have completed their sync, you'll be able to use your flashcards in the mobile application. If you want to expedite the sync, click here on the two arrows that are in a circle. Remember, Logos and your mobile app need to be connected to the internet in order for you to create these flashcards. Let's return to the mobile flashcard program. In a few moments after the syncing is complete, you will now see your first stack of flashcards. In this case, Malachi and Jude. Let's click on it to explore the flashcard program further. Here is our first Hebrew flashcard. Go ahead and say out loud or in your mind what you believe the definition is. Next, swipe your screen left or right to see the back of the card to check your answer. If you got the answer correct, click got it. If you got it wrong, click missed it. To see the next flashcard, swipe up on your screen. To see the previous flashcard, swipe down on your screen. When you're finished practicing, simply click once on the screen to get access to the main menu at the top. Go ahead at the top left and click back. When you're in the stack view, you can check on your progress. Go ahead and click the I or information button next to your flashcard set as seen here. Here are your current statistics. Let's explore the settings by clicking here at the bottom on the settings icon. Here we have our account information and then we have the algorithm spaced repetition. When this is enabled, the time interval before you see that card again increases. This makes it more difficult to recall the card because you won't see it as frequently. The last option is the background image and you can add a photo to customize the app to your liking. Let's return to the main menu by clicking on Stacks at the bottom left. At the top right, let's click Edit. We now can remove the various flashcards from our stack. 
Please note that when you click the red circle with the white line, not only do you remove it from the program, but you will remove it from the Logos program as well once syncing is complete. Let's go ahead and click Done at the top right. At the top left, click the plus symbol. Here is a reminder to inform you that the only way to add a word list to the mobile app is through the Logos Bible Software program. Let's go ahead and click Cancel. Go ahead and close the application like you would in any other application and now you've returned to the home screen. If you don't have an iPhone or an iTouch and you only have a mini iPad or an iPad, be aware that you can download the app for that device as well. Just make sure you choose iPhone only so that the store doesn't filter out the application. Thank you for viewing our flashcard training video. We have many more training resources to help you get more out of your Logos Bible software program. So come visit us at www.learnlogos.com and even attend one of our free live training sessions held twice a month.